Hey y'all, Salamander here with another Guild Wars 2 guide for the Secrets of the Obscure expansion. This torch is the Knowledge of Elders. It's rewarded to you after completing the Knowledge of Elders collection achievement. This guide will cover all the steps needed to complete this achievement. Before getting started, if you'd like to enter into my monthly giveaway, be sure to check the link pinned at the top of the comment section. For the first part of the collection for the Knowledge of the Elders achievement, take the Bastion of Knowledge waypoint in Omnitas and speak to the Faction Provisioner. Select the second tab to purchase the Essence of Knowledge. Next, to unlock the first Spark of Knowledge, you'll have to stay within the Bastion of Knowledge to find and close a tentacle rift within that area. The event will show up with the title, Defeat the Anomalous Tentacle and Close the Rift. You'll have to kill the spawns to push back the cryptus until the tentacle becomes vulnerable. Attack it and when the tentacle's health gets low, it will spawn an elite mob tethered to it. Kill the mob by CCing it and using your special action key to make sure it's vulnerable to attacks. Once the elite mob is killed, the tentacle will become vulnerable again. You should be able to kill it here and close the rift. Closing the rift will complete the second step. For the third step, you'll need to defeat a boss in the Hall of Secrets. If the event Defeat the Mysterious Entity is not available, you'll have to wait for the event Navigate Asgaran's Wards, which spawns northwest of the Bastion of Knowledge waypoint. To navigate Asgaran's Wards, pick up the Ward Detection Spellbook and run into the maze to the north. If you can't walk through an archway, there's a barrier there. Use the one skill when the spellbook is equipped to detect any barriers. The goal is to navigate through the maze to find and activate the ward kill switch. As long as someone participating in the event activates the switch, it will complete the event for everyone participating. Make your way to this portal here to teleport into the Hall of Secrets. Wait in the Hall of Secrets until you see this dynamic event icon. That will be Ueno on his way to start the final event in the chain. Once he stops, just wait a little longer and the Astral Ward Protectors will spawn an entity. Upon defeating the entity, the third step, the second spark of knowledge, will be complete. Then head to the Bastion of Knowledge Library. You'll have to defeat the Elite Avatar of Gluttony. If the event isn't available, wait for the event titled Collect Evidence of Cryptus Infiltration. This event is simple. Interact with the bookshelves and select the most suspicious looking book out of the three options. The green smile that pops up indicates that you've chosen the right book. Throw the book to broke a steel trap and kill the possessed ward workers. Do this until the event is complete. Once the event has been completed successfully, wait a few seconds and the elite avatar of gluttony will spawn. Defeat it to be rewarded with a third spark of knowledge. For the fourth and last spark of knowledge, you'll have to participate in the meta event and kill Norris, the Eyes of the Abyss, at the end of the meta. Be sure you're on your sky scale and use your two skill to attack the Eyes. Upon completing the meta, you'll be rewarded with the final spark of knowledge. After you've gotten the last spark of knowledge, head to the Wizard's Tower. Head south from the waypoint and use your sky scale to fly one floor above his Garin. Turn right and the second room is Asgarn's quarters. On the table to the right you'll find the Seer artifact. Interact with it and pick it up to complete this step. Next take the German Priory Waypoint on the Lornus Pass map and head northwest. Go into this instance here that leads down the stairs into the German Priory and once you're inside go left. In one of these center rooms you'll find Historian Tranton. Speak to him and lie about where you got the artifact to complete the greater understanding. For a call for action, take the Bramble Pass waypoint on the Straits of Devastation map and use the path going east. Along the left side of this mountain, you'll find a small entry covered in vines. Walk through the vines and follow the path until you come across this jumping puzzle that I seem to mess up even though there's like four jumps. Make your way to this vault and speak to the ghost. After he has finished his dialogue, a call to action will be complete. The next three steps require you to defeat Central Tyrian world bosses. 
I put the wiki event timer in the description of this video so you know when they spawn and you can do them in any order. I would also recommend getting to a map early and checking LFG to make sure you're on an instance with more people. For the world bosses, first take the Splintered Coast waypoint in Sparkfly Fen and defeat Takadal the Sunless to unlock the Shard of Decay. Next, take the Earthshake waypoint in Frostgorge Sound and defeat the Claw of Jormag to unlock the Shard of Ice. Then take the Lowland Burns waypoint in Bladeridge Steps to defeat the Shatterer to unlock the Shard of Crystal. Once the three world bosses have been defeated, head back to the Bramble Pass waypoint for the final step. Go back to Sydney the Ghost in the same cave behind the vines and speak to him. Speaking to him will complete the achievement and reward you with the Knowledge of Elder's Torch. If you prefer that my guides going forward include how to beat the world bosses, let me know in the comments. I initially recorded to include them, but that would have extended the duration of the video by 7 minutes. Or if you prefer that I keep the guides short by omitting that information, I'd like to know that too. That about sums it up for this quick Guild Wars 2 guide. If you find my videos helpful or you're interested in my giveaways, be sure to like and subscribe and feel free to comment any requests or suggestions for future videos. As always, take care my friends, I'll see you next time.